Well, we recently reported to you that sugar prices were hitting 30-year highs. However, in less than a month, prices have collapsed from 30 cents a pound to right about 18 cents. Joining us now with this week's bottom line is Neil Malawson. And Neil, sugar growers have got to be asking themselves, man, what happened? Well, Mike, actually those higher prices sort of what caused their own downfall. When the prices started climbing, demand started shrinking both here in the U.S. and across the globe. Now, it's hard to understand, especially as both supply and production are down for 2010. Demand is the key, however. In its March sugar outlook, the USDA has sugar consumption down nearly 50,000 tons to 10.325 metric tons as compared with just two months ago. Compare that with supply, which has dropped more than 25 percent since the last report, down from 1.45 million short tons to 1.1 million forecast for March and is expected to decline even further, even with smaller demand due to a shortfall in production. The bottom line is that when you hear Mexico is going to have to import sugar this year, it makes you scratch your head when you see sugar dropping to more than half its value. However, Mexico will import its sugar from other Latin American countries to shore up their supply, and that will not see any exports to the U.S., so it will not have any effect on us. And again, when sugar hit 30 cents a pound, Mike, the bottom just fell out of demand. Although with supplies being as tight as they are, we will likely see prices pick back up as the market corrects itself. Well, Neil, I know Louisiana sugar growers thought it was probably too good to be true, and as it turned out, it was. Neil Malanson, thanks. And remember, you can listen to any of Neil's reports any time of the day by clicking over to our website, twilatv.org, and clicking on the LFB radio link.